Hello everyone, my name is Atish and topic of this learning video is example or examples on Roderick's formula. In the last learning video, we have seen the Roderick's formula. Do you remember that Roderick's formula? If yes, then very good. If not, then just see here. So, Roderick's formula is given by Pnx and it is written like Pn of x is equal to 1 upon 2 to the power n into n factorial into nth order derivative with respect to x of x square minus 1 to the power n. So this is the Roderick's formula that we have proved in the last learning video. It was a very lengthy proof and a complicated one but we have tried to have that proof in a easiest manner. Okay. Now in this learning video we are going to make use of this uh, Roderick's formula in order to solve the examples. So this is the example we have on the basis of this Roderick's formula. So the example says find P0x, P1x, P2x, P3x and P4x by using Roderick's formula. Okay. So we have the Roderick's formula. So if you want uh, we can write once again like uh, we know that this and we can say this is to be equation number 1. Okay. Now what we want? First of all we want P0x. So what we need to do? We need to put n is equal to 0 in equation 1. So I am going to write put, put n is equal to 0 in equation 1. We get, what we get? We get P0x is equal to 1 upon 2 to the power 0 into 0 factorial 0th order derivative of x square minus 1 to the power 0. Okay. So, what is anything to the power 0 is 0. 0 factorial you must know. 0 factorial is 1. So, this is like 1 upon 1 into 0 factorial 1. Zero third order derivative means the original term and anything power 0 is 1. Okay. So what we get? 1 into 1 is 1. So P0 of x is 1. Okay. This is the first thing. Very easy one. Next what we have to find out? We have to find out P1 of x. And how P1 of x can be found out? By putting n is equal to 1 in equation 1. So put n is equal to 1 in equation 1 in equation 1 we get what we get p1 of x is equal to 1 upon 2 to the power 1 into factorial 1 first order derivative of x square minus 1 to the power n ok now this is 1 by 2 and derivative of this very simple and putting n is equal to 1 sorry so this should be 1 okay now derivative of x square minus 1 is 2x okay so 2 to get cancelled so what we remain with we remain with p1 of x is equal to x so this is the second result we have found out now what we have to find out p2x and p2x can be found out by putting n is equal to 2 so, equation 2, sorry, equation 1 implies for n is equal to 2, what is it? P2 of x is equal to 1 upon 2 to the power 2 into factorial 2, 2 times derivative with respect to x of x square minus 1 to the power n. And what is n here? 2. Okay. Now, this is 1 upon 2 square is 4 into 2 factorial is 2. One time derivative of this is 2 time x square minus 1 into derivative of x square minus 1 is 2x. Okay. Now, what is it? Now, this 2 and 2, 4 get cancelled with this 4 and we remain with 1 by 2. One derivative is there. Okay, and you have to apply derivative of x into x square minus 1. So, what you can do is, you can write ddx of 
x into x square is x cube minus 1 into x is x okay so what is p2x at last p2x is equal to 1 by 2 what is derivative of 3 x cube is 3 x square minus derivative of x is 1 so this is p2x for n is equal to 2 in the Roderick's formula now we have to find out p3x so to how to find p3 of x p3 of x can be found out by putting n is equal to 3 in the Roderick's formula pn of x so put n is equal to 3 for n is equal to 3 equation 1 will imply what does it imply it imply p3 of x is equal to 1 upon 2 power 3 into factorial 3 into 3 times derivative of x square minus 1 power 3 ok so what is p3x then so p3 of x is equal to 1 upon 2 cube is 8 3 factorial is 6 take derivative of this so d2 of dx square what is derivative of this 3 x square minus 1 square into into derivative of x square minus 1 is 2x ok now this 2 into 3 6 get cancelled with this and we remain with 1 by 8 into d2 dx square of what is remaining now x square minus 1 whole square into x so what I am going to do here I am going to apply x square minus 1 whole square and multiply it by x so what is it x to the power 4 into x x to the power 5 minus 2x square into x so this is 2x cube plus 1 into x is x ok now take out 2 times derivative of this so 1 by 8 d d x of if you are smart enough to take two derivatives at a, in, a, in a single step you can do that so this is 5 x to the power 4 minus 6 x square plus 1 so what is p3 of x p3 of x is equal to 1 by 8 what is d d x of this 20 x power 4 sorry x power 3 minus 12 x ok if you want you can take x common also ok and also 4 it is a multiple of 4 so you can write it as 1 by 2 5 I can take x also common 5 x square minus 3 ok now for p4 of x the last result for p4 of x put n is equal to 4 then equation 1 will imply what does it imply p4 of x is equal to 1 upon 2 to the power 4 into factorial 4 into 4 times derivative of x square minus 1 to the power 4 with respect to x ok now what is p4 of x here p4 of x is 2 to the power 4 is 16 4 factorial is 24 ok now take one time derivative so how many derivative remains 3 so one times derivative of this is 4 into x square minus 1 power 3 into 2x ok now this 4 to the 8 get cancelled with this so we remain with 1 upon 2 into 24 and this is d3 of dx3 now apply a minus b whole cube and then multiply by x ok so what is a minus b whole cube is a cube minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square minus b cube ok so applying this is a cube so 
x square cube is x power 6 minus 3 a square a square is x to the power 4 into b is 1 plus 3 into x a b square so this is 3 x square and minus b cube that is minus 1 and then we have to multiply it by x so this is like 1 upon 2 into 24 now d3 by dx cube of x to the power 7 minus 3 x to the power 5 plus 3x cube minus x okay now I would like to ask you one question can you able to write down three times three day three times derivative of this in a single step if yes so remaining derivative is 2 d2 of dx square so this is 7 x to the power 6 minus 3 5 is a 15 x to the power 4 plus 3 3 is a 9 x minus 1 okay now again find out derivative 2 into 24 ddx of what is it 7 6 is a 42 x to the power 5 60 x to the power 3 plus 9 okay now just find out one derivative so what is it 1 upon 2 into 24 what is derivative of x to the power n and x to the power n minus 1 so 42 into 5 is 210 x to the power 4 minus this is 6 3 is 18 so this is 180 x square okay and derivative of 9 is 0 because derivative of constant is 0 okay but here I think uh, 3 3 is a 9 x square it is and this is 9 to the 18 x so the next term here it is 18 okay now as you can see all these numbers are multiple of 6 so you can divide it so you can take 6 common and you can write p 4 of x directly as 1 upon 6 so this is like 6 for the 24 and 4 to the 8 so this is 8 now when you divide this by 6 so this is 35 x to the power 4 minus this is 60 sorry this is 6 3 is 18 so this is 30 x square plus 6 3 is 18 okay so this is the result for p4 of x okay now one remark i would like to make here that whatever results we have found out in this learning video are very very important because you might be having a problem like express a given polynomial in terms of legendus polynomial and for that we need all these things like p0 of x p1 of x p2 of x p3 of x and p4 of x in some cases you might uh, need p5 of x so uh, for try this problem i would like you to find out p5 of x okay with the help of Roderick's formula so i can i will write here try this problem try this find p5 of x okay so at last i thank you all for watching this learning video